It's still nothing and two. Lefty against lefty. The pitch from Hinton. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And the inning is over. Hinton gets the snares, chasing a fast of the season. Corsino on first and two men down. Now a step and a throw to first. They've got him picked off. Ziggler throws to second. Cahalalia with a tag. And Corsino is out at second base. Almost all of the previous here. Ziggler drives it in the air to deep left field. Back goes Muse onto the track. Looking up at the wall. And it's gone. C.J. Ziegler ties the game with a line drive over to deep left center field. Into the pavilion beyond the 385 mark. Ziegler with his seventh home run of the year, and we're tied at one in the bottom half of the fourth inning. That ball is hit out of sight on a run. Shortstop Michael Gonzalez back, and Chikua about halfway at second base. The L1 swing and a line drive, base into the left field. Armstrong will score. Nieves being waved to the plate. Here's a throw by J.J. Mews. It's cut off. Nieves scores on the wing. Let's take a three to one lead. David Amerson lines a two run single to left field. Scoring Cole Armstrong and a bell. Here he sets up off the plate away. Corey waits. The runners go. The pitch taken outside. Throw to second base. Amerson slides and the ball goes into center field. Rotola heading for the plate. Amerson on his way to third. Enerton's throw. Not in time. Amerson is safe. And it's four to one wing nuts. Wichita pulls off a double steal. Montero in for the trail runner, David Amberson at second. Goes it out in the bottom half. 2 0 pitch, granted towards third, might be two. Nieves goes to second for one. Kahali at a first, in time for the double play, and the inning is over. 5 4 3 around the horn, started by Abel Nieves. No run. The 2 2 to Ziegler. Hit in the air down the left field line, hooking towards the corner. This ball is gone. In of scores, Jake Hallelio around third, John Rodriguez, and check that off the very top of the fence. And coming back and play a two run double off the top of the left field wall for CJ Ziegler. It's now 7 1 wing. That's here on the bottom half of the seventh. CJ Ziegler. Forbes is ready up high. Runners lead second and third. The 0-2 pitch, breaking ball, line drive towards right field. That drops in for a base hit. Rotola scores. Here comes McDonald. Here's a throw to the plate by Joyne. It's not in time. McDonald scores. Kahalili around second. He's on his way to third. And he gets there without a throw from the catcher, Moises Montero. A two-run single to right field for Jake Kahalili when he ends up on third. Place on the field. Swinging a high chopper out to the right side. Ziegler has got it. Holtzcomb gets to the bag in time, takes the throw, and the ball game is over. Lincoln Holtzcomb with a 1 2 3 top half of the ninth inning. Closes out the ball game as the wing that's take the opener of this series from the El Paso Diablos in dominating fashion by a final. Setting the tone as usual. Playing good defense behind him. Struck out three tonight, got in some jams, but then he let his defense play behind him after that. So, pretty successful night for him again. Did plenty offensively to make him feel comfortable out there and go right at guys. Kept the pitch count down tonight, too. He's very effective. And the defense playing well behind him. A couple double plays there on the infield. Yeah, and like I said, when he got a guy on base, he got out of it real quick with the double play balls. Turned some good double plays. Had some good nights offensively from some guys tonight, too. It was good to see. Used our speed to our advantage a couple times also tonight. And the speed, Rotola beating out the bun. Amberson, three hits there. They, they pull out the double steal. A great rally there in the fourth inning. Yeah, end. good to see. You know, and I like putting guys in motion. You know, that controlled chaos I like to talk about on the base pass. We were good at that tonight. And two of your big guns come through again, Jake and CJ at the top. Yeah, Jake, when he goes the other way, Pop and I talk about it a lot. What a good hitter he is when he just waits, lets the ball travel, goes the other way. And then you see him turn on balls when he's not expecting to. If he is thinking the other way, his hands just react to it. Z with another big home run, almost had two of them. I've never seen a ball like that hit off the top of the fence and kick straight right. But another good night offensively, top to bottom, and we'll, we'll take that any day, 92 ball game. And Anthony Capperson, a great job out of the bullpen. We'll get the start tomorrow for you. Yeah, we're excited to see him in the rotation, throwing back into the rotation, see what he can do tomorrow. We'll keep a close eye on him. Pitch, pitch count wise, I don't know how many we're going to get out of him, but we'll get the most we can. Right. Lost yesterday. You know, we came back from Sioux Falls. Good to be back home. Uh, you know, we played good all the way around. We, we hit the ball well, we pitched the ball well, and we played good defense. And usually with this, this squad, it's going gonna, it's gonna to win us a lot of games. And uh, your tempo has always been great ever since you've been here, and that, that's obviously been a big part of your success here, kind of working quick and keeping the defense on its toes. Yeah, I like to throw strikes, uh, and if I don't throw strikes, the tempo is tempo's slow. When you throw strikes, you can continue to think ahead each pitch and know what you want to throw, and it also keeps the hitters off balance. Uh, and, and when 
throwing a lot of strikes, like you said. You know, the defense is ready to play. They'll make the plays behind you. And usually it, it turns into a quick game, which I like. The offense helps you out there, a big five spot there, bottom of the fourth. Yeah, that was huge. Uh, you know, they got a run there. And, uh, and the, the, the offense comes in and starts swinging the bat. They swung the bat good yesterday, put up six runs. So they just, Sioux Falls played better than us, or hit the ball better than us yesterday. Uh, and, you know, they cashed in on their run. So today, uh, the guys were swinging the bat well in Sioux Falls. I knew they'd come in swinging good today. And, well, certainly they did it by putting up those runs today. Not only you throw a great ball again here again tonight, but you also go the eighth inning, extra inning there to kind of help save the bullpen maybe for tomorrow or the next day with a long stretch here without the next ball day coming up. Right, right. Uh, you know, they, they actually threw a lot in Sioux Falls, and I wanted to get that extra inning in there. They also, with that rain delay, the last start, and only, only getting those four innings, I wanted to get some more innings in, hopefully get some more innings in. And, uh, and going to the eighth inning helped our team, helped our bullpen. Uh, Help those guys have some confidence and get a little rest. I know Dew's thrown a lot lately. Uh, I know that Walt's thrown a lot lately. So it's it's good to have Lincoln, you know, come and get some more work and, and those guys will be fresh for these next two games and along with the road trip coming up next. Anybody home you want to say hi to? I'll just say hi mom to David. Uh, love you guys and uh, say hi to my dog Rock. So hopefully he'll see this two start barking. Appreciate it.